That's a little cool. under. It's under 70. Okay, it's under 70. Turnovers, guys. That was obviously the big, probably the big stat in this game. But Jordan, you and Debo had steals in that 11 0 run. You finished both off of dunks. I think AB threw one of the passes to you. How big was that stretch in the game for you guys in a game that was just filled with turnovers? How big was that stretch? Um, it was it was big because, you know, as you know, and, you know, our team knows that when you get turnovers and you're getting down, you're dunking the ball, throwing lobs, like everybody wants to see that game. It gets everybody involved, not just us, but the fans, the coaches, like everybody's hyped for it. So it was a it was a main focus of the game that Coach Must talked about. So we, we went in and we executed. Uh, yeah, kind of the same thing he said. Uh, we get a lot of our momentum. We get steals and dunks in transition. So uh, I think we got two steals in a row and two scores for joining back to back. And uh, that was just a lot of momentum for us. Hey, follow up to you, Jordan. Career high today, 18 points back to back, double figure scoring games, perfect from the field. Please talk about your performance at both ends, but also offensively. Um, I feel like the whole thing was just possible just because, you know, me and Coach Smart would go, we'd watch film with each other, we'd uh, study the other team, and we'd know that what their weaknesses are on defense and also on offense. So it was, it was all just a part of his game plan for real. Last performance against Oklahoma maybe help you tonight, you know, give you some confidence or something. Um, confidence, you know, also talking with Mus. Mus told me before the Oklahoma game, he told me just play with more confidence. And as soon as he told me that, I was like, oh, yeah, I'm finna turn up. Got to, I'm gonna listen to him, just play with more confidence. If I'm more confident, then, you know, it'll open up my game a little bit more for me and my teammates. Is this the kind of Jordan Walsh you expected to see this season, last couple of games? Uh, yeah. Um, uh, like you said, I think his confidence is just going up the last couple of games, and it's good because uh, we need him to play how he's been playing the last couple of games. Uh, you know, we, we've seen it kind of in spurts, like, throughout the year, but now he's starting to, like, put full games together. So, uh, yeah, we just – it's good job, Jordan. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> you got off to that hot start. You, first time you checked out, big ovation from the crowd. And then late, I think after you fouled out, another big ovation from the crowd. Can you put me in those moments? Like, what's that feel like as a, as a young guy in Central Arkansas for the first time? Just what that meant to you? Um, yeah, so this is my first time in Little Rock. And um, obviously, like I've said before, we have the best fans. Like, everybody knows this. But, you know, when you when you come out of a game, when you're forced to stop playing and you can no longer help your team on the court, you know, it, it, it takes a little bit out of you. So to have the fans, you know, support you and cheer for you even when you're off the court or you're, when you're done playing, like, it, it means a lot because, you know, okay, I can come back to the next game and continue playing. They're still going to love me. And we can still support from the bench, but it's, it's a little different, though. Mr. both guys, I know this was your first game here, probably, probably your only game here. <laughs> but uh, um, Hopefully. Arkansas, I, I think – Eric probably let you guys know Arkansas has, has struggled here, just 12 and 10, lost to Hofstra last year. How aware were you guys of that, and how how good was it that you came in here and had a pretty dominating performance? Uh, we're very aware of it. The, the coaches let us, made us aware of it the whole week. And, uh, you know, we were pretty uptight all week, just trying to make sure we came in here and, and did better than the last couple years have been. So, I mean, yeah, we, we were aware of it coming in. And Jordan, if you could hit on that too, and when Anthony maybe. Oh, you go ahead, Jordan. Uh, like you said, yeah, um, Coach Mills wasn't going to let us forget forget about that. You know, even before I came, committed to Arkansas, I watched that game and I was I was a little blown away. So this one means a lot to me too, as much as it does the fans and Coach Muss and Devo and Kamani and all those guys that were here last year. Um, it means a lot to come out with a win too and be able to you know make it thirteen to ten instead of twelve to ten. So we love winning. Uh, you guys, it was 11.40 left. They called um, a flagrant foul, and Ricky went up there and hit the free throw, and then the rest held, and they said, oh, no, Anthony. And he's what did you think about that, that whole deal? And did you know you should be up there? No, I didn't. I didn't know. If I knew it was supposed to be me, I would have been up there. But they put up the percentages, free throw percentages, and it was like, oh, Ricky got the best percent, so he's about to shoot. And then – uh, the ref was like, nah, number zero, you got to come shoot. So I'll take it. Three points. And then for both y'all, Debo, you know, back in his home territory, he had five steals, I think, and he's been playing pretty elite defense. What what do you think of his performance today defensively and just what he gives you guys on, on defense really all season? Well, you know, I feel like Devo's identity, identity is being like a crazy defender, somebody who can, you know, really sit on the ball and get stops or play in the passing lanes and get stops. 
um, along with that, you know, he's he's a great offensive player as well. He's he's somebody we lean on when times get rough. Whenever they're pressing full court, you know, we depend on Debo to sometimes bring it up the court and handle the pressure. And that's kind of like his job. And Coach must trust him. We trust him. And it just goes his way. It's Debo's game. Yeah. I mean, Debo always plays really well on defense and plays super hard. And uh, he had a lot of energy before the game. So we kind of knew he was about to go up there and lock up, uh, maybe even like a little better than usual. AB, you had you were kind of all over the stat sheet tonight. Fifteen points, four assists, couple blocks, couple steals. Just what do you think of your overall game? And and then Jordan, what do you think about AB tonight? Um, I mean, it was it was a good game for me. It could have been a lot better though. Uh, I missed four free throws, and I also had uh two turnovers, a couple like bad turnovers. So, uh, other than those things, I thought for the most part I played pretty hard, uh, and played pretty well on defense, and that just kind of opened up the rest of my game. <clears throat> um, Avery's a little hard on himself, but I think he played great in my opinion. Um, he was everywhere on the floor. You know, he's he was being the point guard that we needed in this game. You know, obviously with the assists, also the scoring and getting to the line eleven times like that's a big deal. And that's a big thing that we need out of our point guard, and we expect him to do that, and he did it, and we're not really surprised. What happened on the technical foul? Okay, which one? <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the, I guess with the head tap. Did you get ejected? Yeah, two of them. He got ejected. I don't think so. <laughs> I, I guess with uh, the head tap, as you were going down, you were kind of tapping on your head. You yeah, 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 yeah. So <laughs> my emotions get the best of me sometimes. And JG, when JG dunked on um that kid, it kind of like sparked to something in me. And I was just, I was celebrating. And I was tapping my head, looking at the dude, and. The rest was like, you can't do that, Jordan. You do, you know you can't do that. And I was like, oh, yeah, you're right. He said, we have to give you a technical. I was like, okay, I understand. Mm. It's a big part of the game for a player, but if you could set confidence aside, what's the what's been the, kind of the biggest difference in your game the last two weekends? Um, I think the biggest difference is just, you know, um, trusting the work. Um, I feel like our coaching staff and our GAs, they put us through great workouts that simulate the game. And me just going through those and doing those night in and night out, just kind of like when you when someone happens in the game, you're just like, oh, hey, I just worked on this last night. Like, I'm going to shoot this or I'm going to jab right, spin, and it's a bucket. It's guaranteed. I said pretty balanced scoring across the board. Just how good is that when you got several of you in double figures and Devo had a pretty decent scoring game? How how, how big is that for you guys? Um, I mean, it's it's big for us. We got a lot of talented players, and uh, there's only one ball. So when there's a lot of players scoring in double digits, it means we're being pretty unselfish, and uh, we're just playing good basketball overall. Yeah. Um, I feel like it's a lot more fun. And when when everybody gets a couple shots, everybody gets a chance to touch it, everybody gets a chance to show off their skill set. And uh, while while doing that, we also got the win. So that's that's the most important thing, of course. But having having guys like Caden Lawson, like us getting them in the game is, is the biggest thing for us. Like that's the goal every game. Like I want Caden Lawson to play at least eight minutes. I want to play eight minutes. I want to beat this team by 40. Let's let's get them to eight minutes. So that's the goal. And uh I'm I'm happy with the outcome.